Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT 3 minute success tip video for you today. And we're going to concentrate on frame relay maps today. This is one of those things that just has a lot of little details to it. I want to give you some things to look out for on the exam and of course when you're working with live equipment. So let's go ahead and start that clock right now and I'll have the routers up here pretty shortly as soon as we bring up the whiteboard. Now the first thing is you got to know the syntax cold. And I know I say that about a lot of things, but here's your challenge in the exam room, and it's something that I find that some first-timers aren't really ready for. It's really almost easier just to enter a command on a Cisco router than look at a list of six or seven of eight uh, different commands and, and be asked, you know, which one of these is right? Which is the right syntax? So you got to have this one down cold. Let's go ahead and bring up the live equipment, and I'll show you one. The official beginning of the command is frame relay map. You really should get used to just seeing frame map. And next we're going to put the protocol, which is IP. And next it's the protocol specific address. It doesn't say whose protocol specific address. It certainly says it better than I just did. But what you want to put here is the next hop IP address. And we're going to assume that's 172.12.123.2. Then it's going to ask you for the DELSI. Now on an exam and in the real world, you're going to have a network map. It's going to have DELSI numbers on it. And you need to know, of course, which DELSI to enter. You're always going to enter a locally defined DELSI. So for this one, we're going to say that's 122. So again, remember this IP address is the remote IP address, but the DELSI you're entering is a local DELSI. So we can use iOS help again, and we've got some options here, some you're going to be introduced to later in your studies. But what we're always looking for is that CR at the bottom for carriage return, and that means that this by itself is a legal command. So these are all options. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter right there. There's no problem, and everything's good to go. Let's go ahead and just try to ping 172.12.123.2 while we're here, because I've already set it up on the other end, and we have total success, so we're perfectly fine. And that brings us to the second thing on this board. Uh, watch your broadcast option, because it is just that. It is an option. With that syntax that we're looking at right here, and another good way to see it is with show frame map, and I've got one to another destination here. These all look fine, right? to 122, excuse me, to 123.2 and then 123.3 that I already had on here. And there's a Delsey number, you know, it's static assignment, status defined, and they're active and everything looks fine. But if I tried to run a dynamic routing protocol over this right now, it would not work because I left the broadcast option off. Unicasts are going to go through just fine to those two addresses and pings, those pings that I sent were unicasts. But broadcasts, such as uh, broadcast updates for RIP, EIGRP, and OSPF, of course, those last two are multicast. Uh, in that case, then you've got a problem because you are not going to be able to run your routing protocols. And I get emails and tweets about this all the time. And I ran into it when I started my studies. It's like, okay, why can I ping this address, but I can't get an OSPF adjacency over it? It's because you simply left the broadcast option out. So whether you're looking at your config or whether you're using show frame map to take a look at that, watch it because if you don't see broadcast here on the end of that statement, that means you left it off and you just need to rewrite the map statement and tack that broadcast option on. That's all there is to it. I invite you to come out and check out my full list of free and paid courses on udemy.com, especially my new course for the CCNA Security Boot, uh, uh, excuse me, certification. I've got a free boot camp preview now and every student who's in there at the end of October 2012 is going to get a 60% discount on the finished course and this preview is absolutely free. I'm Chris Bryant. As always, thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.